Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. FIFA World Cup 2022 is the most talked about maybe almost all of World Cups so far. People are trying to create controversies every day to demean Qatar, figuring out tactics to find every angle to defame Qatar in every way possible. Now a Mexico player's wife tried to insult Qatar's people by labeling them as stinky people. George Sanchez's wife Linda Villanueva took a drive in Uber and shared her experience in Instagram, which was full of hate. She wrote on her Instagram account, What does it cost these people to take a bath, put on a little perfume, a little deodorant? Oh no, as soon as we come from taking the Uber, they smell horrible. Brothers and sisters, maybe she was furious about Mexico being out from the World Cup and took all her frustration in the other direction to insult the people of Qatar. Whatever her intentions were, her posts started getting support as people were already searching for faults in the host country. Dear sisters and other supporters, we as Muslims would like to answer you that we not only purify ourselves, but we purify our souls also, that too, five times a day. It is an obligatory and not optional upon every Muslim to do so. When we stand in front of our Creator in Salah, we make sure we look the best. As when one meets a VIP, one makes sure his appearance and aura is the best. We meet the Lord of the Worlds, which is not even comparable to any VIP of human beings present and was ever present or will ever walk this earth. When we perform wudu'ah, we wash our body parts not once but thrice and we purify our souls with our salah. Our salah stops us from evils as written in our holy book. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Recite the book that has been revealed to you and establish prayer. Surely prayer forbids indecency and evil, and Allah's remembrance is of even greater merit. Allah knows all that you do. In a Sahih Hadith, the importance of cleansing is also emphasized. Chapter 2, Purification is Essential for Prayer. Book number 2, number 0433. Musa'ab bin Sa'ad reported, Abdullah, son of Umar, came to Ibn Amr in order to inquire after his health as he was ailing. He said, Ibn Umar, why don't you pray to Allah for me? He said, I heard of Allah's Messenger, may peace be upon him, say, neither the prayer is accepted without purification, nor is charity accepted out of the ill-gotten wealth, and thou were the governor of Basra. Brothers and sisters, our purification is half of our faith. So dear sister, stop changing the route of your frustration elsewhere. We are taught purification in the best way possible. Alhamdulillah. That's it for today, brothers and sisters. I hope you like the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.